Hello, everybody. And here we are. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's find that little bastard. Rhyming, dancing, sing songy gesture. War of mine. It's not my war, sir. Hmm. People's Actually, let's see if we can sell some stuff real quick. <laughs> I well seems like no one is take a look. Oh, I don't actually have that much stuff. Or at least not that much stuff that this guy will buy. Oh, I have a lot of ebony arrows. I don't need steel, I need firewood. Do you have firewood? Take a look. Nobody ever has firewood. Farewell. So disappointing. You know, it, it, Skyrim is cold. It's like freezing cold. You think a lot of people would have firewood. Yeah. Alright, alright. Back on the horse. We've uncovered the plot to kill the Emperor. It's better. Let us go find this uh, sanctuary for the Dark Brotherhood. Which, according to Cicero's journals, should be around here. <laughs> ah. Well, hello. Should have figured Astrid would send you. Huh. Uh, what gave it away? <laughs> Yeah, gotta admit that little chest really with no the big nose. Knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. All right, you convinced <laughs> me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. Hmm. You probably just follow the blood. Here we go. His life's greatest illusion. This is. So why do those doors have like a a beat to them? That just makes like no sense. <laughs> hmm. All right, looks like we ran into a bit of a load screen for some reason. And they didn't even give me anything to read. Or to look at, or to spin around. Just the fog to zoom in and out. Yep, to that end. Ah, here we go. Figures. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Oh, I'm stuck. Whoa. I don't see what weapon he's holding. Why did my bow just go away? Boy. 
Okay, uh, he was holding it like a two-handed weapon, so I'm going to assume that was why he hauled off and decked me one. Oh. <laughs> he did the truth. Who's there? I knew I heard something. No, I'm coming for you. See what we can do with them first. Potions. Who's there? I knew I heard something. <laughs> I knew it from you. Oh, come back around the corner, you bastard. And I think I nailed the wall. This won't end well for you. Whew, potions, potions, potions. Fire and the darkness? I was just going to say he's quiet. Why didn't that hit him? Like, whew. Oh, I wish I could find a corpse. Unfortunately, all I'm finding is ghosts. the way the blood goes. It's not like this place is rolling in loot either. Hold on, Cicero. Just having an annoying personality. All right, back in 
the sanctuary. really cool. Oh. Done and done. All right, let's heal a little bit here. They're really knocking me about. to save my skills and start doing some enchanting. I also would not mind a Daedric Bow. 101's not going to get me anything. Same there. And we're back around. Okay, I'm good enough for now. Not going to be summoning a dragon inside these walls. Whoa, I did not even see him in the fog. so much damage to some of them, but not to all. Yeah, give me your back. Okay, a bunch of empty coffins. Ooh, a master chest. Watch, I have five gold inside. Oh, really? I found it already? Take that weight. Ah, I like that. Nice colorations. Yeah, it just weighs way too much. It looks really nice. And Ebony is our friend right now. Who's 
Doesn't stop us from trying now, does it? Alright, definitely don't get to search them. Try this peeking up the stairs one more time. Okay, close door. Alright, so I'm assuming when I do a lot of damage. And now we come to the end of our play. It's because I'm bypassing the armor. Interesting. It's always good to have people who are in your debt. But he is fairly annoying. <sighs> nope, he's died. He's gonna die. Absolutely no armor. That's his little dagger, eh? <laughs> All right, out we go. was easier to hunt him down than I thought. Oh. Let's see if the werewolf needs any help.
Oh. Huh? He's gone. Alright, not much to do around here. Let's head back and see about that boatman. I'm Serena. Your horse. Horsey. Actually, we are up on the northern shore. Uh, yes, yes, right over there, the shipwrecks. That is where one of our marks is supposed to be. Just happens to be a little hut. That is completely empty. Creepy seaweed. Oh. Thought she vanished. Whee. There is something like a campfire over there. This is supposed to be the Argonian, so he's alive for now. But that means he's susceptible to poison. in the afternoon. That shadow scared me. There might be something in the bed. Just a shadow, I guess. Oh, I guess it was just a box. There he is. Sitting by the fire. Okay. <laughs> she was going to run right up through the camp anyways. Ooh. It's not stealing, he's dead. those gems, I should probably uh, start looting ships myself. New? Yeah.
Alrighty. So our last mark. Our last mark is the Khajiit. Which I still need to figure out a little bit more on how I'm going to do it. Thought I saw something splashing in the water. I wonder why she won't ride. I know, it's bugging me. I know, I thought maybe it's just this area, but I would have expected her to have tried to have gotten back on the horse by now. Maybe if we head back in towards town. Like, did she lose her horse? <laughs> Actually, I think he can get us out of here. I can take you to any port on the coast. Where are you headed? Ooh, Solitude or Windhelm. Oops, let me see. So, port back to Astrid. Septum Signals. Meet. Tolthide. Selma? Ah, oh, yes, Guy Markarth. White Run, Solitude. Hey. Looks like hey, we go to Solitude. Where you Climb on in the boat and get comfortable. All right. Um. Okay. Or not, I guess. <laughs> Wasn't taking my money either, so I wonder if it's just broken, maybe. And here comes my first what? visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. What? Yes. My collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't no. you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Let's talk inside. Yes. Let's talk inside. Oh. Instantly kill. But about a hundred less damage. Daedric arrows. Alright, let's get in here. See how this Feel goes. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to... I need those too, don't I? Oh, I guess I already had enough. Zero percent chance though, that sucks. Where'd you come from? Where did you live this time? <laughs> did you have any qu Oh, what's this experience? job you want done? After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They okay. split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost a hundred and fifty years ago. And the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. Okay. 
At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen. I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. Swamp. No questions asked. <laughs> oh, speak to Silas. Retrieve the pommel, blade shards, and hilt. Good luck finding okay. the fragments. Ah, yes, that scabbard. Notice the insignia? An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Meru's That's what that dawn, is? The patron Daedra of the mythic dawn. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the mythic dawn <laughs> cult leader, Mankar Kanarak. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died. Yeah, yeah, not interested. Alrighty. Okay, guys, um, yeah. So I seem to be stuck in this loop. I've tried a couple of things to get me out of it, but this is going to take me to solitude from the boat ride, I guess. Uh, so we're just kind of going to have to go with it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know exactly why it's doing this, but nothing I've tried so far has gotten me out of it. And there might be a guard waiting to arrest us for some unknown reason. Oh, which means this is load screen. <laughs> Mongrows. Trade greater range and power for reduced fire rate. I don't know, my shortbow does a pretty nice shot. <laughs> nice. Ma unleashing razor snow. You talk to Egg Brothers. Deja has no words for you. Good business Yikes. for the East Empire Company means all the more gold for the Empire. By the order of the Yard, I command you to hold. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, let's see. Crime. What did I do? I would love to know what I did. Why do I have a bounty of over a grand on me? Did somebody see me murder somebody? Um, I'm just gonna try and get out of here. We will deal with... We will deal with this later. <laughs> I have too much goods on me that I, I just don't want to get rid of right now. How do we get out of here, though? I mean, he should, in theory, be able to find me right now. And there should be another guard up here. By the order of the oh. Stop right there. Um Fine woman. Now come along with us. Ah, uh, another loading screen. I would love to know how this got so screwed up right there. Walking out, frozen in spot, teleported to solitude. And I really do not remember. Yes. Need something? 
And these guys, great. The Emperor's cousin killed right here in solitude. I feel nothing but shame. So you can cast a few yes? spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? No. I'm not even impressed by the spells I cast. Why are there silver hand in the town? Why are there so many gar I am just full of questions. Okay. Well, we wanted to come to Solitude. Let's, uh... Oh. Flawless Garnet from the Fletcher. Oh, it might be better if we just got a room at the inn, 1 a.m. Oi, interesting. I'll give it that. Seems there's always more to be done. Does indeed. Hey, more than my. usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Yeah, all my stolen stuff is gone. Just remember me if you get your hand. Welcome to the winking sleeper, <sighs> friend. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Remember the winking skeeter next time you're foot sore. I don't think I'm ever foot sore. Probably can't feed on a child. Oh. Ah, yes, yes. Thank you for showing me to my room. Feel free to make requests. Some privacy would be nice. No foul. All right, so we need to wait until the shopkeeper is at least at work, I would assume. Uh, 10 11. That should give us a uh, guaranteed open shop, usually 8 to 8. Mm hmm. -hmm. Grab the emerald and then we'll hoof it out of here. You know you can afford a septum or two. I always can afford a septum or two. Although the guards have a lot of them right now. Whew. I wonder if anybody here sells firewood. Don't Whoa. think you can barter with me like one of those damn shopkeepers. We have purchased quite often from this guy. I thought this was a pickpocketing job. Hello and welcome, Mike. What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. All right, my bow, 163. Yeah, nothing's really even coming close. Alright, glass arrows, 24 damage, ebony arrows, 27. Dragon steel, I'll take that, 31. For how much money I'm giving this guy for all of his arrows, he shouldn't he should just give me the emerald. Oh yeah, 
that's all he has. Good that's enough. Indeed. Sounds like too many footsteps. Oh, just Serena. Nope, and him. <laughs> Knew I heard too many footsteps. Well, this certainly complicates things. Keep your hands to yourself. I certainly will. <laughs> All right. We don't want to. We do not want an open shop, I guess. work a little bit more on skills. I do have some ebony. Is there a smelter in this town? I don't think so. so I also don't have so much anyways. To protect yourself or deal I would really them. pay extremely well for some firewood. That was my arrow. <sighs> bah, blah 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 blah. Return any time you need arms or armor. My forge never rests. Werewolf pelcher. Face cover. I'd like to keep it for now. I'd like to keep my mask. <laughs> Ebony boots. Eh. Gloves. Hood. I'm just trying to be really careful not to shred something I want. Alright, a little bit of skill there. A little bit of time passed. I am just going to wait in the shadows here. Must have to wait a little bit longer, I guess. Serana, this might be a solo. You keep a. I'll be here. Keep an eye out for me. Really? All right. We've got to be quick. We've got to be quiet. And most of all, we have to be unseen. Bed appears to be empty. That actually makes me more nervous.
Yipch. Not that way. Actually looked like it was slightly worse. Alright. Now let's just get out of here. Don't even want to see where he was. Hopefully he was down in the inn or something. Hey, Serena. Do you need something? Whenever you're ready. Let's be on our way. Entire day wasted in this town. Not to mention hundreds, maybe thousands worth of worth of materials and gold for something. I mean, I, I can't even. Didn't I get away with the... the assassination? Anyways, uh, let's just carry on. Chalk it up to a game bug. A <laughs> bug glitch. Whatever. Can't steal my horsey on me though. How you doing Shadowmere? Yeah, you're a good horsey. Yeah. Did I still have my original cloak on, right? Yeah, okay. Cloak of health. I don't know, I'm really annoyed at that now. I'm just alright, alright, I'm gonna focus, I'm gonna move on. Where do you want to go? Let me check that other Thieves Guild quest. I think it was in Whiterun. Yeah. I can take you to where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. There we go. Alright, we'll try and hit this one real quick. Then we'll go down and see what Astrid has to say about the death of Cicero. Depending on how that conversation goes, we may just go to the Thieves Guild for a little bit. It's kind of annoying that, uh, y'all. Yeah, he's gonna say that's him, isn't it? This is not exactly the place I want to go and take care of him, so we shall leave that alone for just now. Alright, let's check the details of this once we get inside. You can see exactly what it was that, uh, we needed to do here in Whiterun, I didn't really look at it. Oops. No, 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 no. Numbers job? Bellathor's General Goods. 8 a.m. Hmm. Got some good pieces out. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Iron, steel, hunting bow. Very encirclet. Still no firewood. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Alright, let's see if we can That looks like Bellathor. Whoa. I ain't done nothing. The city's changed, friend. 
Thieves' Guild is on the rise. They've got a firm foothold here in Whiterun. Okay. So Belthor looked to be outside. See how this goes. Oh, I should have asked her to stay outside. You, my friend, need practice. <laughs> Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Well, that was an interesting twist. <laughs> oh. So he has the guy outside chopping down firewood, but he doesn't have any firewood. So that, we can always use more money. Oh, that is... It's a good poison, 22 damage. But I think money is a little bit more important right now. Necklace of extreme haggling. Nice. Major health. Really? 1500 for that? Do come back. Okay, so we can at least scout the place out a bit. Well, hello there, Bellathor. There's the book that we need. There's the strong box for future reference. Really? Ah, now you're right, Bellathor. I'll get a uh, more practice, you know, and I'll be back later. <laughs> oh. Nah. Can I buy? Don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Uh, I just want some firewood. Divine smile on you, friend. Shouldn't be that hard to get firewood. <laughs> People are chopping it all over the place. Alrighty, so let's uh, take the carriage down to uh, Falkreath, as we just said we would. Gotta remember that the uh, shop jobs are a little trickier. <laughs> oh. You know? There's a nip in the air. Cold one is good for my crops. Never is. Nah. Now I'd have to find some way of completely, completely making myself take you to uh, the old capitals. unfindable. Where do you want to go? Oh, Kreath will do. Back and we'll be off. I can't wait here forever. I'm getting in your carriage, you bastard. Most impatient carriage driver ever. Let's move faster. The sun is... That's not great for my skin, if you I do completely understand that. Stupid dog. 
Well, it seems we did not out-travel the storm. So in bright, broad daylight, shadow mirrors are a brownish kind of horse. At nighttime, though, or even dusk, she is like solid black. Maybe she has prismatic paint on her. Yes, yes, yes. Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the... Excellent. <laughs> Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what. Brad why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now Sounds that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Okay. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his no. cookbook? No. It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll uh. kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. But if everybody Festus knows it's a he... has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Right then. Seriously? He was at death's doorstep. That's not Festus. That's Festus. There you Took your sweet time huh. dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astra told you about the gourmet, I hope. Need something? Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. <laughs> you know, maybe I was wrong about you after all. Anyone who's smart enough to shut up and listen can't be all bad. Talk faster. In my, um, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. Uh, <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep in Markov. It would seem he's the cook. <laughs> I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, Sounds and easy, when huh? you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. <laughs> Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Um... Huh. As I was saying, You'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Yeah. Remember, the Markov Keep. That's Still here. Personally, I've always found Argonians to be incredibly unpredictable opponents, especially near water. Hmm. Air on the back. In any event, you just nice keeled over. Here's your payment. <laughs> oh. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best to get to. Alrighty, guys. Going to wrap up this episode here. We will uh, likely head off to Rift and and see what's up with the Thieves Guild. Uh, after like a quick stop over at the house, I think I have some gear on me that would probably just be better if uh, I could pass it along. <laughs> We're very close to. I got to be carrying dragon bones or something. 
I'm pretty sure I'm carrying dragon bones. So, until next time, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Sorry for such a delay. I actually had many more bugs than this when I tried to record previously. Oh, I'm glad it all worked out this time, though. It's good to be able to move forward again. So until next time, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you then.